I'm at British Steel's headquarters in Scunthorpe where I'm meeting with their steel sleeper expert, Arvid Sederborg. So Arvid, what can you tell me about steel sleepers? Steel sleepers are essentially metal beams that hold the rail in place and transfer the load from a train into the ballast bed. But to really understand steel sleepers, we need to start in the mid 19th century. Timber sleepers had a short life from a vulnerability to fire, wet and dry rot and vermin attack. Cast iron sleepers were introduced to combat these challenges. Steel sleepers were introduced in the late 19th century as a replacement to cast iron sleepers. They were lighter and more durable than their cast iron counterparts, uh, which allowed for a higher axle load and faster train speeds. Steel sleepers have now been used in the UK for almost 100 years. Their modern shape were developed in conjunction with British Rail in the 1980s. And how do steel sleepers differ from timber, concrete and composite sleepers? Steel sleepers were designed with an inverted trough shape. This makes them sit in the ballast rather than on top of it. This activates the ballast closer to the surface, leading to a reduction in ballast depth requirements. The design also provides about 50% more contact area with the ballast compared to a traditional flat bottom sleeper, reducing ballast pressure and track degradation. The side walls and spade ends also maintain a higher degree of contact with the ballast during vertical track movement. This reduces the sleeper uplift and the impact forces during train passage. The spade ends also provide the steel sleepers with an increased lateral stability. Oh, that's interesting. Could you tell me the benefits of steel sleepers in comparison to alternatives? Yeah, of course. There are some whole life cycle benefits that are inherent to their design and material. Their lightweight and stackable design leads to significant logistic cost and handling savings. For example, up to three times more steel sleepers can fit on a lorry or in a container. The reduced ballast depth requirement leads to significant logistic cost savings from the reduced excavation and ballast volumes. They also come with reduced maintenance requirements from their improvement in track stability. This results as a reduction in the ballast pressure and the maintained contact with the ballast, slowing track degradation. The installation process is key, so we are working alongside Network Rail to develop a track work information guide for our installation process. Finally, steel is the world's most recycled material. Because our sleepers are made from 100% steel, they are easily recyclable and contain a significant end-of-life value, rather than being a disposal liability. This results in a global warming potential of 850 kg per tonne steel. You can find the breakdown of this in our independently verified EPD. That was very informative, Arvid. Thank you for your time.